River Hills Christian Academy. What an unusual school year we've had. Your teachers and I are so very proud of the work that you've done, both while we were on campus and then as you were at home with your parents. We pray that this school year that you have learned not only about your Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and the plans he has for you, but also about the world he's created. And that the things that you have learned, you will take with you wherever you may find yourself in the coming school year and the rest of your life. Know that you are well loved by the Lord and by us. I cannot believe that our time is over. It seems like just yesterday you walked into my classroom and into my heart. I am beyond blessed to have gotten to know you this year. I was thinking about our year together and what I noticed from each of you. I love that you each were so caring towards one another. No one was ever left out or forgotten about. You made everyone feel welcome and the bond we each share is very special. I am proud of you for learning God's word and allowing me the opportunity to see each of your different personalities. You have worked so hard this year and I couldn't be prouder. As you move on to pre-K four, I know that you will be successful. I wish you the best of luck. Please know that even though you will not be in my class next year, I will be praying for you and your families. You have left a special mark on my heart. I will miss you. Have a wonderful summer. Love you all. Pre-K four, I have so enjoyed getting to know each of you in my class this year. And I'm so happy and blessed that God placed us in the same class together. Not only have you grown inches taller, but you've also grown in your ability to write, count, and memorize. I'm very proud of each one of you for doing your very best. I have loved seeing your excitement for God and all he has created. Wherever you may end up going for kindergarten, I pray you will let your light shine bright for God. Have a great summer and I love all of you. To my pre-K-4 graduating class of 2020, it has been an amazing year watching each and every one of you grow and learn in the Lord. Every day with you has been an adventure, and I will cherish these memories forever. You are all so amazing with the biggest hearts and the greatest personalities. We have had so many great moments, both in the classroom and on Zoom. Moments like the first time I saw you write your first and last name correctly, or the moment that you were able to put on and button your sweaters all by yourself, even when you were able to count to 30 without stopping. All of these moments showed me your determination and love for learning. You have all grown as individuals, learning what it means to be a kind and caring student, classmate, and friend. All of you will always hold a special place in my heart. Thank you for putting a smile on my face every day. I will miss all of you more than you can imagine. I know with great confidence that you will all do great things in your next big adventure, kindergarten. I was so honored and humbled to be your teacher this year and so very proud of all of you. Congratulations on your many accomplishments and best wishes next year in kindergarten. Ms. Craig will miss you all. I am so proud of this class of kindergartners. They are hard workers, doing their best at all times, especially during this time of home study. This is a class of explorers, always eager to discover something new. And now that they are readers, you all are able to start exploring more and more on your own. So I say, keep it up, kinder, and welcome to first grade. Have a great summer. To my first grade class, as I look back on this school year, I think about my eight students and how much they've learned and grown this year. I think about all the wonderful memories that we've made. I think about the wonderful books and Bible stories we read and the math and science and the history we learned. They also memorized the books of the Bible, Bible verses and poems. I will remember that when faced with learning from home, they continued to make me proud. I have missed seeing my precious students in person, 
I miss knowing who has lost another tooth and what is going on in their lives. I love teaching at RHCA where everything is brought back to God and his creation and his order. It has been a privilege to teach this first grade group, but now it is time to say goodbye. They are off to second grade and all that awaits for them there. I pray that you all have a safe and blessed summer filled with lots and lots of fun. Second grade, I have enjoyed our year together. All of you have worked very hard and I am proud of each of you and what you have accomplished. What I am most impressed with this year though is the work you did at home. This was a challenging end to our year and you continue to be diligent and to do your very best. Make sure you thank mom and dad for all that they did for you these last months of school. It is my prayer that as you move to third grade, that you will continue to do outstanding work. And as 2 Peter 3.18 says, that you grow in the grace and knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. To his be glory both now and forever. Have a wonderful summer. Third grade. Wow, I cannot believe how much y'all have grown, not only in height this year, um, but also in the knowledge of the Lord and um, in your math facts and reading. Y'all have all done so very well, especially continuing to do that from home. Now I need your eyes, third grade. If you remember at the beginning of the school year, I drew on the board a glass of water that um, was halfway up, similar to this. And I asked you a question. I asked each of you to look at the glass on the board and tell me if it was half full or half empty. Think for a moment about what you answered. Tell it to your parents so they hear it too. Now, I want you to come back to today and is this glass half full or half empty? I told you that my job after I asked that question at the beginning of the school year, and so many of you told me that it was half empty, was to change the way that you viewed God's creation. In Psalms 97 1, it says, the Lord reigns, let the whole earth be glad, let the distant shores rejoice. Boys and girls, I hope that you have been able to see that God is sovereign, God is kind, God is just, he is loving, and he loves each and every one of you, and he wants you to see his creation as full, full of his glory and his goodness. So as you move on, I pray that you will continue that outlook on life, and I pray that you will have a wonderful summer and a great fourth grade year. It's been a pleasure and a blessing to be your teacher. Salvented is Shibuli. It's so wonderful to be able to talk to my fourth grade class again, and I'm just so uh, so humbled by the way and the things that we got to share. I love the daily devotionals that we got to do together, starting our mornings with prayer and learning about the world that God created for us. Uh, I just wanted to say that you guys are very special, and I love every single one of you. Um, when you started this year, you were uh, boys and girls, but through the things that you've learned, through the scripture we've read and studied together, through the knowledge that, uh, that you've had here and at home, I can no longer call you boys and girls anymore. I have to call you ladies and gentlemen. And so as you go and finish out your fourth grade year and enjoy your summer, be ready for fifth grade because I know you're ready for it. Thank you for making me so proud this year. To the fifth, sixth grade class, it has been an absolute blessing to have each of you in my class this year. You should be very proud of your accomplishments. I am so very proud of each of you for the progress that you've made. Our curriculum was difficult and you guys succeeded in everything. I know you will do amazing things next year as you move on to sixth and seventh grade. Every one of you made my day that much sweeter with your smiles and your contagious laughter. You were all amazing with the most wonderful hearts and the best personalities. And each one of you are unique in God's eyes. 
All of you will always hold a special place in my heart. I wish you the best of luck next year in sixth and seventh grade, and I hope you have a wonderful summer. Hola, boys and girls. This has been an amazing year and by far the largest amount of students I've had. It is such a blessing to have nearly the entire school as students. You're all wonderful students and I watch many of you grow into amazing people. I'm very proud of each and every one of you and keep up the great work. You all have special talents, whether it's in Spanish, art or PE or an outside talent. Thank you for sharing that with me. I love you all. Adios, clase. I am so thankful for the time that God has given me at RHCA. And I just want you to know that each and every one of you have a very special place in my heart now. And you, I will always have you in my heart. And I'm just so thankful um, for that. I hope that I have always been a, a good example of Jesus's love to you and that you will take that and share that love uh, with others. And I just pray that you have a wonderful and safe summer and take care and God bless. Bye. Boys and girls, as you've just heard your teachers and Mrs. Liao share, you are well loved. We pray that you take that word and all of God's words to heart and that you base your life on him. So long for now, have a wonderful summer. We all look forward to seeing you soon and we wish you the very best.